Of the four MBTI scales, Jung called this scale the biggest discriminator. It's the first thing people generally notice about you. You and I look most different from each other because of where we get our energy, extroversion or introversion. Jung said that each of us has a hardwired preference for one of these worlds, and it's where we prefer to have the greatest parts of ourselves in, because it energizes us. Now you may have found yourself asking, should I take the MBTI like I'm at work or at home? The notion that you see yourself different at home than you are at work is an indicator of the preference for introversion. Extroversion and introversion, as used by Jung, explain different attitudes people use to direct their energy. Two psychological worlds. The outer world, a world of people, places, things, and action, of talking, of engagement. And an internal world of thoughts, concepts, and ideas. Is one better than the other? No. But it can look that way with extroversion. Unfortunately, there's a lot of dysfunction associated with introversion these days, when actually in Jungian type theory, there's none of that association. So let's talk about what extroversion and introversion is. What elements of a party do you most enjoy? What we're talking about is everyone's at the party and presumably everyone's having a good time. The question is what you enjoy. Introverts would report they like being with a few people and going to the party with someone. But they'll look for a doorway when they overhear the extrovert saying, oh yeah, I don't know any of these people. This is my chance to go and connect. <laughs> for extroverts, there isn't that same resistance attaching themselves to new groups. So let's take a look at some words and why Jung thought this was the biggest discriminator. Why is this so important in how we interact with each other? Extroverts focus outward on people, places, and things. The outer world beckons me into action. Extroverts, they speak to think. It's important to an extrovert. You'll see it, you'll hear it, and it's out there in the world. They're naturally disclosing. If you don't know an extrovert, you haven't been listening. Extroverts don't always have a filter activated because they engage their mouth to engage their brain. Introverts, on the other hand, they focus on the internal thoughts, ideas, concepts, and you'll notice they have, when asked a question, a characteristic built-in pause. It's in this internal world that introverts plug in and charge up. They're more territorial. What's internal is guarded. If you don't know an introvert, you're not asking the right questions. If you're talking to an introvert and ask them a question, you'll see how they take it in, they internalize. Oh, they're thinking to themselves, this is good, I could use this, or no, no, that's good, oh, this has some potential. What they're doing is they're cutting and pasting, doing lots of action inside. Meanwhile, you don't see anything on their face here in the outer world, because what's important is going on in the inner world. You need to ask the right question, and then click, 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 they retrieve it. Extroversion and introversion, the biggest discriminator. We're going to look most different from each other because of where we get our energy. Remember, you can and do use both preferences at different times and in different situations. But which one of these attitudes do you instinctively tend to favor?